My name is Jason Talley with End Time Ministries, and this is your Prophecy in the News. This article came out this week in the Jerusalem Post. The title read, The world's largest and most advanced underground hospital is preparing to open its doors in northern Israel. Let's read a little bit of the article. It says that the 2,000-bed underground hospital has been designed to protect patients and hospital staff in warlike conditions. With the conflicts that Israel faces daily from neighboring countries, it is widely accepted that an underground medical facility was nothing short of a necessity in Israel. Even now, despite the relaxation of war within Israel, officials say that it's imperative, absolutely imperative, to complete this project before any other unpredictability can disrupt it. The article goes on to say, while there are other underground hospitals in the world, this facility will be the only facility that will be able to transfer 2,000 patients, their staff, and the necessary equipment underground in the period of 48 to 72 hours. The article said in a different uh, portion that actually while uh, it's not being used as an underground hospital, it will be used as a parking lot for up to 1,500 cars. This is significant because they can transfer and make a parking lot uh, into a hospital in 48 to 72 hours. That's pretty impressive. The facility can function for several days. This is huge. 100% sealed off from the world. 100% sealed off. Completely self-sufficient and protected against chemical, biological, and conventional warfare. This protection also extends to earthquakes and other natural disasters as the hospital's sides and top are protected by multiple layers of concrete impervious to whatever situation is taking place above the ground. The hospital will be able to generate its own power, store enough oxygen, drinking water, and medical supplies and gas supplies for up to three days. This is significant. Professor Raphael Bayer, the medical center's director general said, I hope it will never be used or needed. However, with the daily threats coming at Israel from the north and from the east, it is impossible to predict what any day may bring. So the question then becomes, why is this so significant? What's so important that we know about a hospital that's in northern Israel that's underground? Well, the Bible prophesies in the Old Testament, in the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 2, the Lord said, For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. This is a prophecy of the battle of Armageddon. Uh, the world community led by the Antichrist will decide to invade the tiny nation of Israel at the battle of Armageddon. It will begin, according to scripture, in the plain of Megiddo in the northern part of Israel, go down through the Jordan Valley and culminate in Jerusalem. This is significant because the Battle of Armageddon is going to be a major war. There's going to be a tremendous amount of casualties, a tremendous amount of um, people that are hurt and wounded and in need of medical attention. And the fact that the Battle of Armageddon is going to start in the plain of Megiddo, which is in the north, uh, the northern part of Israel, and this hospital that is being opened right now is in the northern part of Israel. I have no doubt that this hospital will be used during the time of the battle of Armageddon. You know, the Bible talks about in the book of Revelation that there's going to be so much, um, so much death and so much uh, injuries and carnage and things that are happening at the battle of Armageddon that the blood is going to run up to the horse's bridles. That's a huge amount. And we're looking at that right now. We're looking at preparations for the Battle of Armageddon right now. Things that are going to lead up to that are happening right now. And this hospital is opening right now. And this is such a huge, huge thing because we're going to see that these two things are going to be connected. Uh, and my name is Jason Talley, and I'm with End Time Ministries. And this has been your Prophecy in the News.